Its natural surroundings remain untouched. A modern home nestled in a Lithuanian pine forest that was built as a tribute to the blues. Hello. Hello. I'm Aidas. It's my wife, Ingrida. Nice to meet you and welcome to my blues house. Aidas Kalinauskas, an architect, has lived here with his family since 2014. The woods aren't far away from the city of Kuanas, but far enough to blast the blues as loud as they want, anytime they want. It's a house full of passion. Blues are romantic. For the blues, romance and taking it easy. This isn't just my blues music. Little by little, my wife has grown accustomed to listening to the blues every day. I've taught her about it. It's very important to us. That's apparent throughout the 170 square meter house. Its design is inspired by the music genre. Even the kitchen island is embellished with old vinyl records. The center of the house is an open living area spread across several floors. This is the center, the heart of the home. It's the room where we hang out together. We listen to music, watch TV, or work in the upper area. It was designed for good acoustics. That's what the acoustic ceiling construction and paneling are for. The sound is as clear as it would be in a concert hall. The integrated sound panels round off the aesthetics and ensure optimal acoustics without interference. True to the open plan design, music accompanies every family member as they go about their business including when their son Ignis visits. The musical atmosphere is controlled from a single sound station. So there is this uh, central music station where we can choose uh, which room we want music to play in. And by pressing one or the other button, we can turn on and off music in, in sauna, in, uh, in a terrace or in the living room. Speakers are integrated in groups throughout the house. So the bathroom and bedroom, for example, are a single unit, acoustically speaking. We spend most of the day with music. That's no exception in this room. As you can see, we have speakers and music equipment. We end the day with music, of course with something slightly more relaxing. But music sends us off to sleep. The family spent many years in the city, but they were looking for a place where they could relax in tranquility and listen to the blues undisturbed. Once they found the land, the main question was, how do you create a house that fits into its natural surroundings and differs from the building style typical of the area, but also pay homage to the blues? I've always listened to the blues. Even before the house was built, I'd come here regularly, and the sound from the car radio felt really special here. The combination of birdsong and the blues fit really well together. Then we took a family vacation by the sea, listening to lots of blues music, and suddenly the idea came to me. I drew an outline of the house in the sand. Their son Ignis is also an architect. He and his father drew up plans on the computer before creating a 3D model. This kitchen island that swings out to the terrace was Adis's idea. It bridges the home's interior with the exterior, which is also connected to music. It's a place where, uh, where you connect uh, with nature and the building itself. And in our architectural philosophy, we talk about this a lot, about this emotional connection that formed between uh, people and buildings. And this is the place for me where I really can sit and uh, merge with the uh, with surroundings, uh, with uh, natural materials, with music playing from the house and birds singing at the same time. 
Blues, blues is really authentic music. Every night in the forest near Kiwanis, they're singing the blues, inside and out. 